chai latte. Okay, this is totally Hi, hello, it's Caitlin. We are back. It is literally the first time in the for the entire day that the weather has even remotely cooled down a degree. We're here in lovely Orange County. The high today was like 84 or something. There is an excessive heat warning. This is Nick. Never mind my podcast. There was an excessive heat warning. There was additional air quality alert. It just, just didn't seem like a good day to go out or do anything to be honest. So I was I was um resting in the house up until this point. And now it is the loveliest and best time to go out. We're gonna this is like my Disneyland right now. Are you ready? We're gonna go and get Trader Joe's fall snacks and foods. Today we have our Target grocery bag and we are good to go. Okay, here we are at lovely Trader Joe's. And you know, it is September, it is fall season, which means there are going to be so many cool and new Trader Joe's foods, like the butternut squash I heard was really good, the pumpkin cheese cream spread. Let's go. This is Caitlin from editing. The sound was so bad, but I was saying that I expected the grocery haul to come out to be like $100 total, and it didn't. It was about $50, which is not bad. We really only found like one out of the five fall items that we set out to shop for today, but I think there's still gonna be a few really good recipes that will come out of all of these ingredients that we got today on our grocery trip so um excited i'm gonna say bye trader joe's until next time which i'm pretty sure it's gonna be super soon okay i couldn't wait i have impatience when it comes to buying and trying new things first this so we've already gotten this open this is the vanilla almond spiced chai It's a little protein shake and I'm feeling there's some slight hunger so right off the bat this is kind of spicy you definitely get that spicy cinnamon taste in here and it's creamy and it's like if you put almond milk and added a little bit of cinnamon on it not bad five out of ten no sorry that's a little bit cutthroat I'll give you a seven out of ten seven point eight out of ten Hi there, hello. Today we are going to make the oven roasted Italian vegetables. Looks like this. With all the veggies that we bought yesterday at Trader Joe's. Okay, I'm back. We just had a massive oil spill. But there is enough oil in there to be saved for the next step.
This is garlic powder. Also from here, I'm gonna pop these in the oven for 10 minutes at 4.25. Okay, we're gonna now add all the veggies. Okay, this could totally be overloaded, but I'm going to add it to the baking to the oven and then have it bake for so freaking long. Not to the point where it's burnt, but like getting there. So the flavors melt and so the veggies are squish. The veggies about 40 minutes later plus more. They've had a while to cool, but they're nice and soft and they taste so yum. Good morning. We gotta show you we're reaching into the apple cider donuts. We're gonna get a donut. Delish. They taste. These are not the donuts. Oh my gosh! My dog is missing company. Anyway, these do not taste like you know the do the fried donuts you get out in the store. No, these are more like cake donuts. They sure are cinnamony, and I don't know what apple cider tastes like, but the cinnamon sugar is on point, and it tastes like imagine a churro but in donut form. With less cinnamon. Our chai latte and a nice apple cider vinegar donut. Hello y'all. Hello y'all. We're gonna make a fantastic peaches and cream smoothie with milk and sweet and creamy. This you also have the option of honey or whatever sweetener sweetener of your choice but the creamer does have its own sugar in it already so usually I do not add any additional sugar in there you want your you want your ninja bullet Some vanilla if you want to be fancy. There it is, your peaches and cream smoothie. It actually does taste like peaches and cream. I would not add as much milk as I did, but it has the little tart peach taste combined with the creaminess of the creamer. If you're into creamy drinks, creamy desserts, creamy things, this is the smoothie for you. You guys have not seen what the veggies turn out to be and how they taste. And let me, see, let me show you. These are our veggies, the potato, the cucumber, tomatoes, peppers, mushrooms, really quick and easy to make. And mm, it would be such a good topping to pasta, like have a good Alfredo pasta with veggies and chicken or something. But the oregano, the seasoning, it tastes like a pasta dish without the pasta ingredients. It's probably back to school for some of you and I don't know if you feel this, I'm trying to learn something new, take some courses and whenever I'm studying for an extended amount of time, I start thinking of food so it's snack time. For our snack today, we're going to get some granola. Okay, we've got our entree meal, we've got our savory meal and a snack. Now I'm gonna go to the dessert, which is a very special idea that I concocted. If you know Erwan, they serve the specialty celebrity smoothies and the one that's going on right now is Emma Chamberlain's matcha 
matcha swirl which is coconut soft serve with matcha and almonds and peanut butter on top i'm watching her video it looks so delicious but i'm not about to head to air one and get that so what if what if we did a dupe it's not gonna be coconut matcha swirl but it's gonna be i was thinking we can make our own emma chamberlain matcha swirl with a costco soft serve this will not hit any like nutrition points or anything like that. We don't have the coconut soft serve or whatever Air One ingredients are. The special, special Air One ingredients. But it's sure, I know it'll be tasty. So we're going to try this out. Put some matcha on at home. The last matcha I had was Ipudo. Very fancy matcha. I like when matcha has that green, bright green color and the fruity. It's like a fruity smell. I don't know how to explain what it is i've had it earlier and it did make for some really good matcha so really like this powder it's just actually a bit more expensive than ipudo so i'm just gonna try the entire thing we'll see we'll see if we're gonna convert to this matcha or stick with the other one ah. but this just turned into a matcha review video Okay, we have again our Costco soft serve, aka the Air One coconut soft serve. Okay, this is the Emma style one. This is the one that's going to be an additional two more dollars if you order it at Air One. Cool. Our ugh, bare naked granola. And that is it. Let's see how it tastes. I'm sure the air one, one would taste a lot healthier, but we are making do. That is delish. It really is like your Costco ice cream, but upgraded with the additional healthy-ish, tasty ingredients. This is amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty skeptical when I watched her video. And I was like, peanut butter and matcha? I know the soft serve would taste good, but I don't know if that would be a good blend of flavors. Oh good, BRB, enjoying this? In perfect privacy. Not a long time later at all. No, that one really, really hit. I don't know. I don't know if I can get just plain Costco ice cream anymore without like peanut butter and granola on it. Who would have thought? No offense to Air One or to like the Emma Chamberlain brand. This is not healthy at all. Defeats. It's like a copycat, but like a super non healthy copycat smoothie. But the taste is there. Yum. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We got some entrees. We got some snacks and a dessert down out of our Trader Joe's ingredients for the most part. I hope it inspires some recipes as always. Hope, hope it inspires some recipes as always. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Do you wanna reach me? Late night when you need